Hi everybody, Tetanus Risk back with you and today I'm working on the 55 Chevy pickup truck and more specifically uh, the inner and outer cab corner on the passenger side. So I've drilled out some of the spot welds here and my plan is to uh, leave the door pillar and remove the inner cab corner. Uh, I've drilled out some of the spot welds as you can see. Uh, there is a support going across here so you have the inner cab corner welded to the support and you also have the door pillar welded to both the inner cab corner along this line and the support. Back here you can see I've cut some exploratory holes, some relief. So this line up here is about where the outer cab corner is going to come to. So I've left lots of room there. Over here, I still have a couple of uh, spot welds to drill out that go through the back cab wall and into the inner cab corner. So it was my idea to take this out in one piece, but I don't think I'll be able to do that. I think I got to basically cut it in half or maybe cut a strip out the center of it all the way around so I can peel it out of there. So the plan is to install the new one which I have right here in my hand from the top down which uh, could be pretty tricky because you have that uh, cross support that runs in here uh, so you got to get this lip of it in ahead of that but behind the the door pillar. So that should be fun. If anyone has any experience with this, I'd appreciate comments. Um, so I have a direction to go. Uh, but for now, I'm going to continue tearing and try and get this out and I'll come on back. So I've released a lot of the spot welds and I've started to cut away uh, some of the pieces. This was down here. This was on top here. It's, it's all freed down there. Uh, it's going to be difficult getting anything between the support and the door pillar I found. So that's going to be a tough squeeze. Um, but we'll cross that bridge. Um, back here, I think I only have uh, one more spot weld to let go. Um, this is basically glued in there because I think uh, a grease gun sat right here. And just the dust and the dirt from the prairie roads and the uh, the grease leaking out of the grease gun. This is basically glued to the back panel. So I'm going to rip and tear a bit more and I'll come back. Well here you go. Removal process all complete. Um, it is possible. It slips right out now. Uh, I did have to take it out in this many pieces. But as you can see if you just whittle away at it drill all your holes out and get in there and pry break the spot welds um it'll eventually come out so i have quite a bit of cleaning up to do there and i'll get to that but uh, now I want to show you that the inner cab corner does indeed just slip in. And there it is. All right. So it just goes in from the top. You got to get this wall in behind the uh, door pillar. And uh, it falls right into place. So, yeah, I'm liking it. So I got lots of cleaning up here and drilling more holes and getting ready to weld. Um, I have a bit of repair to do right here. I attempted to plug it, but uh, that didn't work out too well. So I'm going to put a little patch in there. And there is a little lip that sticks off the bottom here. So this is all going to require some attention. So that's all I'm doing for today. It's past dinner time. So once again, if you like the content, please subscribe. Leave a comment. Give a thumbs up. It's all appreciated. Until next time, take it easy.